Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Train Tutorial. In this Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you an excellent way to create a button and you can assign macro to this button. Okay, so basically I'm going to show you how you can create a button to run a VBA code in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started. <music> Suppose I have created macro. In this tutorial, I have already created two macro, which you can see by clicking developer tab. If you don't have developer tab, check on this link and you will learn how you can add developer tab in Excel. So click on developer tab, click on visual basic and you can see module one and module two. These are the VBA code I have already written. Okay. So if I want to run this code, I will have to go to the macros and then click on run but I don't want this I want to create a button and assign this macro to that button so whenever I click on that button the macro code will run okay so I'm going to create button with shapes okay so click on insert and then click here illustration and then shapes and I'm going to select this shape so this will be the button and I'm going to write the button name here you can write any name here but I like to write the names of the task I am going to assign here okay so I'm going to assign the height column macro here so I'm going to write the name height columns okay and let's format it so this is the button and you can design it according to your need. So when our button is ready, simply right click here. You can see here assign macro. Okay. If I click here, now you can assign any macro that is listed here. Okay. Mostly you can assign macro that you have created as a module. Okay. I'm going to select this macro, which is height empty columns. And if I click OK and now click anywhere of your worksheet. So your button is now ready. So when you hover your mouse, there you can see it has changed okay so if you click on this button right now your macro will run in the background so this code hides empty column so first I'm going to unhide those column that has already been hidden so this is our button now let's see what happens when I click here so click here and you can see the macro is running so this is how you can create a button to run any VBA code or any macro code Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe. If you can, then support the channel through patreon.com slash excel10tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.